That's right, that's me, Willie. From the UK! Internet man-child. I'm actually quite scared of heights. And lover of tasty bite-sized morsels. I'm a fan of your work, Norman. As MLB Europe's food critic at large, I'm heading to the US of A on a trip of big bad baseball food business. Mm. Food, folks, and fun! The mission? To create a ballpark menu so delicious, so tasty, that it features at the MLB World Tour London Series in 2023, where the St. Louis Cardinals will take on the Chicago Cubs on June the 24th and the 25th. Starting for the Cubs, right? <laughs> this is Home Plate's London Series menu. Welcome to the last episode. We are back outside Wrigley Field, home of the Cubs, and today I'm going to be putting in all the incredibly serious and intense investigative journalism that I've been up to over the past few days in the States into practice. We're going up on Wrigley rooftops. We're going to be cooking for some Cubs fans during a game. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to go meet Chef David. Let's go. To burn a few calories ahead of today's challenge, I'm swerving the lift and taking the stairs. I think I've got a stitch. But I must say, the view at the top of the Wrigley rooftops is amazing. Mr. David, good to see you again. Hey, Willie, nice to see you as well. Welcome oh, to the rooftops. Since the other day, I've been thinking about the flavors that you showed me and the things that I ate, and I'm thinking that we probably need to make something for people that is created with what I have felt inspired by. So maybe with these sports peppers, you know, we don't use them so much in the UK, but I think I could chop some of them up with some gherkins, make a little relish, my own sort of thing, my spin on this relish, have that on a hot dog. Yeah, let's see where we go. In order to make my Willie's style hot dog, you start by dicing up some pickles and sports peppers, add them to a bowl with a squirt of mayonnaise mustard, and voila, we have our relish. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just crushing up the uh, jalapeno and cheddar flavoured chips to go on the top for a little bit of crunch. So, you know, we have about 100 people up here today. Normally, um, the rooftops we have, we do about 225. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so. And is this the busiest rooftop? This is one of the busiest rooftops. It's one of the larger ones that we have. And we have, we have 11 of them all together, so they range to about 200 to 225 capacity. Next, we pop on our, oh, that's fire. As I was saying, we add a little bratwurst to the grill in order to get it nice and charred. God, it's sweaty here. It's a hot day. It's a hot day for a hot dog. Once your venas are charred, get your buns at the ready, please. Smother them with cheese and add to a tray of baking. We, we like bangers in the UK, yeah. you know? But a banger is two things in the UK. It's a, it's a great piece of music. It's probably that in America as well. Or it's a big fat sausage. And we're using a brat here. That's a big fat sausage. You know, it's going to be good. We'll wait until all that cheese is really nice and melted, and then on with the relish, and then on with the crisps. Take your cheesy buns off the grill and assemble. Relish, then crushed crisps for garnish. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the wonderful Willie style hot dog. Bong app to teeth. Cheers, Willie. I'm excited to see what you think. Mm. Mm. It's actually pretty good. You sound surprised. I was a little bit. I was a little bit hesitant <laughs> on the pickles and sport peppers. Yeah? But it, kind of, it works. It's giving enough spice, it's, it's nice, giving enough sharpness. The nice melted cheese, a little bit of the jalapeno on the potato chip, got mm. the crunch, a little bit of heat. Mm. And I kind of like the blend of the, the pickle and uh, pork pepper. Like you said, a little spicy just comes out. Beautiful. It's good. I think this could be a serious contender. I think so but too. we actually have the opportunity to test this out on people today. Absolutely. So let's get some hardcore Chicago dog fans to try this, compare and contrast, see what they're saying. Let's get the punters in. We whipped up some more hot dogs so we could see whether the Chicago style would still reign supreme or would the Willie style hot dog cause an upset. Let's do this. Shy Town versus London. <laughs> Food, folks, and fun. Are you Willie? I am Willie. Nice. Uh, so before you taste it, we're not paying for these, so it's actually free Willie style. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, you're a whale of a time. How many Chicago style hot dogs do you reckon you've eaten? Somewhere between 1,500 and 2,500. For my London cats from Chicago. Cheers. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, you're into it. really good. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. Into it? Mm -hmm. I'm Polish and tastes very good. 
European. Okay, that's beautiful. Well, you know, I'm from Europe. Well, right. England. It's in Europe, but well, actually, no, it is. It's still in Europe, but it's just not in the EU anymore. So, sorry about that, viewers. Creaminess is good. Yes, the it's creaminess. It's good for sure. Mm -hmm. Not overbearing. I like the crunchiness. Yeah, sweet. That smoothness from the relish. That deal, nice touch at the end, and then that crunchiness. Fantastic. Full tang, perfect. Okay. You like the creaminess? Yeah. He That's really good. Cream. He loves it. <laughs> on a level with the Chicago dog? It's there. It's there. It's there. It's like the new kid on the block that's accepted. Right, okay. You know, yeah. but not necessarily like taking over. To join. Yeah, <laughs> a, 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 a sort of marriage of uh, a good the UK, the UK yes. and the US, yes. you know. Yes. Do you think this would do well on the menu? Oh, yes. You think this is, a, is up there as an option, yes. yeah? In my yes. opinion, if someone doesn't order it, they're a fool. I would order that one, yeah. You yeah. would? I would actually pay money for this. I Thank you lie. very it's much. Good. This guy was great. Um, he enjoyed the hot dog, but we had to bleep out everything he said because like every other word. it was too prolific for for YouTube. It couldn't be aired. No, I'll just decide that was phenomenal. Yeah. Right, okay. Are you gonna take another one? Yeah, man, hope so. There can only be one winner. And one loser. And one loser, exactly. So, I mean. Today, Willie wins. Today, Willie wins. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, if I can convince a staunch Cubs fan that's been eating the Chicago-style dog for years and years that the Willie dog is on a level, and I just thought that one up this morning, I think we're on for a winner. So, David, what did you think? Working with Willie was great. What he created, I think, had a lot of great flavors, a lot of different levels. I might even use it over here. I liked it so much. Good luck, Willie. See you in London. Thanks, David. I think we're on to something here. Time to continue my market research as I head back into Wrigley Field with a microphone to ask regular American baseball fans all about food and some other things. Onwards! Could you describe to me the smell of a hot dog? Oh, I think it smells juicy. The smell of the hot dog is perfect. You get the moist bun. And if a hot dog could make a noise, what noise do you think that hot dog would make? Squish, squish. I don't know, brother. <laughs> squish, squish. I don't know, brother. Hey, which did you prefer? Let's go Riders, baby! Yeah. Crazy. What's your favorite food at Wrigley Field? Uh, probably the beers. 10 portions of nachos in Wrigley Field or 10 Chicago style hot dogs. What do you think would give you the worst tummy? Nachos. What's the best food in Wrigley Field? Oh gee, Chicago dog. Oh wow, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> what have you guys eaten today? Peanuts, chicken tender basket, um, a beer. Um, some would say that's a oh. drink rather than a food. What is your favorite food in Wrigley Field? The rum. So you like the Chicago style hot dog? Could you describe the smell of a hot dog? Hot dog. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, there's every chance that I learned something in there somewhere, but both cities have served up food, traditions, and people that have truly inspired me. Well, I turned up in America with nothing in my back pocket but a small sheet of things that I might be able to say about baseball being completely clueless by the time I arrived. But after a few days, I've met some great people, I've learned some great things, I've enjoyed the atmosphere of the ballpark, I've enjoyed watching the games. It's just been fantastic. On a serious note though, I have learned one thing about baseball and that is that it is more than just a game. The atmosphere is amazing, everyone's having fun, and the food seems to take a serious spotlight. And if you like the sound of that, then you should probably purchase yourself a couple of tickets to the MLB World Tour London Series, which will be held in Stratford next year, where the Cubs play the cards. I'm going to be there. What am I going to be cooking? I don't know, but I'm going to take all the information for the trip that I've just had, put it all into a load of words on a bit of paper, and then turn it into things that you can eat with your mouths. See you there. Flopping about. Hey, I'm for a beer. Take a little beer. Bread and beer. Whoa. You look like you like it when your mum tucks you in. Wow. I really like that. <laughs> oh my god! You must be fair sweaty. Why? Can I say it's not my favourite? Oh! Wow. And the man show has won it! Lovely race there, the best I've ever seen.